Joining us in a first on CNBC interview is the firm CEO, Max Levchin. Max, stock got back to 27. As we said, that's going back to September of last year. Uh, do you think this is about the margins or the margin guidance or uh, the GMV guidance? If I knew what moves the market, I'd probably have a different job. Uh, so I, I, I have no idea what happens on a day-to-day -day basis, but I would prefer our work was measured on a year-on-year, -year, perhaps decade-on-decade -decade basis. But obviously <laughs> gratifying, <laughs> gratifying to see good good news treated well in the market, but day-to-day uh, you know, -day is, is, not, is not the right way to think about our company. <laughs> okay. Well, help us understand where the turn is happening uh, at its core. You know, this quarter actually, I mean, obviously we beat across the board. Revenue grew 37% year on year. GMV grew 28%. Unit economics were super strong. We always guide to 3 to 4% uh, revenue less transaction cost as a percentage of GMV. We came in at 3.8, which is on the higher side of the that range. So all in all, we've done really well. There's not one thing that stands out this quarter. What we really did well is we just executed and executed and executed relentlessly and the you know, fruit of our labor is visible and we'll absolutely try to continue to do exactly the same thing on and on and on. Is it a comment on the consumer and the way in which they are viewing how to pay for things? Is it a signal of household uh, balance sheet stress? No, uh, I don't think it's a signal of balance sheet stress, but I do think it's a sign of consumer preference. Uh, as you know, we launched our long-awaited debit card last quarter in a big way, and we saw fantastic growth. Last quarter we reported, this quarter again, we're, we're showing just real strong demand from the consumer side for this way of buying. It's a new product, doesn't really exist anywhere else, but at a firm, it's a debit card that has borrowing capacity built into it. You're in total control. You can decide to uh, buy now and pay later, either a priori or after the transaction, or just buy with your bank account. So that functionality speaks to this no the need that we see in the market from, from people on more control and more transparency about their money. And so the, the pull that we're seeing is what accounts for all this growth. What are you seeing right now and what's your expectation for consumer credit quality? You know, again, if I could see the future, I'd probably do something else with my time. But what we do have is a business model that is just perfect for these, you know, frankly, uncertain times. We lend in a very, very short term. The weighted average life of our loan is on the order of four months. We underwrite every single transaction, and sometimes we have to say no when we think that people are overextending themselves and wouldn't be able to uh, pay for the loan. We don't charge late fees, which aligns our interest with consumers. If they're late, we don't make more money, we actually lose. And so all of those structural decisions we made you know, over 10 years ago when we started the company put us in a driver's seat. Every time we see a macroeconomic wind blow the wrong way, we change our credit posture and we are become more careful. And so we've been running the company very, very carefully from the risk point of view for the last year and a half. And you could see that what makes us really different, you know, but maybe if I were to speculate what's going on in the market, people have once again noticed that as all the other issuers, most other issuers are seeing creeping delinquencies and really difficult time managing risk. We've posted another quarter of really strong, highly consistent credit results where we're once again displaying that we're in total control of the credit outcomes. We mentioned uh, the Amazon partnership. I'm also curious about sort of the brick and mortar element and whether or not you see checkout as an area uh, that you could grow, or is that sort of a toy on the side? No, no, no. It's incredibly important. One of the huge reasons why we actually went out and printed plastics, you know, made these cards, because we realized that we're on the order of a couple of percent of total e-commerce in the U.S., but we're a you know, speck of overall commerce because it's just not very convenient to pull out your phone and fidget with it when you're trying to uh, pay you know, for groceries or for uh, you know, a cup of coffee. Having a debit card is just a really, really great form factor. And so a firm on a debit card is what we really wanted to deliver because we wanted to be in brick and mortar. We have lots of ideas and lots of things we're just plowing into the brick and mortar market because we see demand for the same kind of product, both in plastic and inside app. So there's lots to do there, digital wallets, et cetera, et cetera, much, much to show in the coming quarters.